So the Dubai Mall, the Dubai Mall was stunning. Every store you can imagine was, excuse me, was there. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We, we went to the mall maybe five times while we were out there. One of the cons um, coming up, one of the cons I just thought of was the fact that we were so far from the mall. Like when you, li when you stay on the uh, Palm Jumeirah, you're pretty far from the mall. So uh, taking a taxi and Uber and stuff like that, it was pretty expensive, like maybe 28 to $30 just one way. So I advise you, if you guys want to go to the mall a lot during your trip, I would move closer to the mall, like stay on Jumeirah Beach or, um, or even, um, what do you call it? I forgot the name of it. But anyway, um, the mall was, was great. I loved it. Awesome. This is the right, desert safari that we did. Ready. My wife decided that we, you know she wanted to do the VIP. Okay. I said, hey, no problem. You you gonna pay for it? Whatever. I you know it's all good. So the first part was the dune buggies, and the dune buggies was really really cool. I I you know I had all these emotions. I, at one point, I felt like I was. Indiana Jones, or um, I thought I was Ethan Hawke, like terrorists are chasing me. You know, I, I felt like James Bond. You know, it's like all these scenarios was like running through my head while I was driving this dune buggy through these dunes. My wife did an excellent job filming everything. Obviously, I was driving, um, and it was actually a long. It was a long thing. Like it was, I think the ad said like an hour, but it felt like maybe hour and hour and a half or something like that uh, and it was fun you know I had a great time the tour the tour guide was kind of like you know he wanted things a, a certain way but you know I'm about I'm all about safety he wanted me to be like completely like right behind the guy in front of me and I'm like bro like calm down like as long as I can see you guys I'm good I'm not gonna speed up and jeopardize ramming this dude because I didn't do this the insurance that's another thing I didn't do insurance I'm you know I was good and then we just stopped and we had like some refreshments, some to drink, and then we were able to do this little like surfing thing. Of course, I didn't put my video on because I busted my ass, but my son, my oldest junior, he did a really good job yeah. going down. So, um, so that was cool. As you guys can see, it's just desert. It looks fake. It's so amazing. This is another part of the desert safari where we were able to see the falcon, which was kind of whack, and then we uh, sat in like another area. We didn't sit in the middle. They had like a, a belly dancer and stuff like that. And the food was, you know, the food was okay. It wasn't, it wasn't all that great. It was just like chicken and traditional like Middle Eastern stuff. These are the fountains, which are another main attraction in Dubai and they're located at the mall. So is the Burj Khalifa. And I had to take the volume off. They were playing, um, I forgot that girl's name from, from London, Adele. They were playing one of her songs. I think one from the James Bond movie. It was, it was really nice, super nice. And I know at night it's illuminated and stuff, so you get like a different vibe. Uh, but it was beautiful, beautiful uh, area. They wanted to mimic the Bellagio or the Bellagio, whatever the name, in Vegas. And you know, they do it like four times better. So that's, that's how they get down. And this was the Burj Khalifa at night. We did do a, uh, we did go there. We went to like the 24th floor and it was really nice. Um, you know, I look at it as, you know, if you go to a, uh, a tall building, they're basically all the same as just the visuals outside that window is completely different, you know? So, you know, there was a building that looked like Tony Stark's lived in there, you know, cause it was like two towers. There was a pool in the middle. Yeah, so not, you know, not many cons other than people being rude, not necessarily the people that work in Dubai, but other visitors, crazy rude. I thought it was ridiculous how rude people were, but the people that actually worked in Dubai, the service people were amazing, very friendly, people from all over the place. Uh, you know, and all that, all the, all the cons, like, 
you know, I just sweep them under the rug because I had such a great experience. I think it's a great place for golfers to visit with their families. It's definitely a great place. You have tons of stuff that it, that we didn't go to. They had tons of water slides. They had the aquarium at uh, Atlantis. They have the aquarium at the Dubai Mall. You have the Emirates Mall. Um, there's tons of stuff to do. So um, as well as other golf courses that I didn't that I didn't play because. It was like a mini golf trip slash family vacation. But yeah, Dubai, I, I, I feel as though Dubai is like a very safe place to take your family, take your, your, your little ones, have a great time, play some golf. And unfortunately, Dubai can be very, very expensive in the high season. The high season is normally between, I think it's like November, December, January, and February. You know, because the, the, the climate out there maybe is like in the 70s, like low 80s. It's like, it's perfect. But you get your cheapest rates in the summer, which is like, you know, July, August, September. But the temperatures are ridiculous, like maybe 110 degrees. When we went, it was the end of May, early June. It was like just on the cusp of um the low season so we got a pretty good we got a pretty good deal if you guys are interested in regards to like you know how much did it cost the food and all that good stuff just shoot me an email because you know um you do have to factor that in i give you an example when my family and i we went to hurricanes which is like that australian uh restaurant in the mall in dubai mall me and my wife shared a hamburger. We had French fries, which they gave you a lot. Junior had a steak, like a kid's steak that he didn't really like. And Grayson had chicken fingers with French fries. It was like $103, you know, including our drinks. So that, that's crazy expensive, you know, like, you know. And, and you know, it, it's my fault because we, you know, we ate at the mall a couple of times. Like normally eating at the mall is going to be a little more expensive. But I think on average, our meals is like maybe 70, you know, maybe 70, 80 bucks, somewhere around there. So that's on par with other big cities in the U.S. Uh, I think Hawaii is probably a little more expensive, but it is what it is, guys. So I appreciate you guys looking, checking out my channel. Big shout out to FootJoy. Please like, share and subscribe. Another thing, guys, is like 86% of you guys aren't even subscribed to my channel. So please, guys, I'm only 100 or maybe 99 um, subscribers away from 3,000. So please, let me hit that this week, guys. Hold a brother down, please. All right, guys, take care. Hit them straight. Be safe. Peace.